this video I'm going to show you how to change out a battery on any MacBook Air. Uh, this particular MacBook is a, um, a 2012 uh, 11.6 inches but again this will work with any Air whether it be 13 inches or a 2008, a 2009, 2015. Um, what we want to first do is take the uh, screws out of the case and I'll show you how to do that and what what screwdriver to use and um, and then we'll go ahead and take the battery out. So most MacBook Air Airs have 10 screws. As you can see here, four on the top, four on the bottom, and two on the side. Now, you might be tempted to go ahead and try to use like a little small Phillips or a little small flathead to unscrew it. Um, I wouldn't recommend you doing that. I mean, number one, you will probably damage the screw itself. Um, you might accidentally scratch the surface um, and if you pay pay all this money for a MacBook Air go ahead and do it right and like I said it'll cost you under five bucks to do it what you're going to need is a it's called a, a pentalobe pentalobe screwdriver and you can get it on eBay or Amazon for less than five bucks um, and I'll show you in a second where to look so let's go ahead and unscrew the pentalobe screws. There's one, two. Probably want to put them in order here. They are different sizes, just like the MacBook Pros. Okay, it's four. So if you notice, if you notice the um, the top two uh, top two center, the screws are a little bit longer. All right, let's get the sides. Okay, so you should be able to get it from the very top here, and you shouldn't have any resistance. Just a very tad here. So as you can see that. Okay, now that we got the um, bottom case off, um, now we're going to take the battery off. Um, pretty imp pretty simple to. To do if you got the right tools, um, the battery is going to be adhered to the uh, logic board by a connector, and so you want to take that off. Just takes a little bit of prying. So we got the battery off. Now this, there's going to be one, two, three, four, five screws in all that's holding the battery down to the um, to the logic board and you're not going to be using the same screwdriver that you use to take the case off. Uh, to use to um, take the case off we used a, a pentalobe screwdriver which which has got five you know it's got like five um, edges to it. To take the battery off we're going to be using a it's going to be like a hex. It's just going to have a total of six um, it's six um, edge. It's actually called a a T6 Torx, T's and Tom O R X, and uh, the Torx. I don't know if you can see this that well, but it's very, very small and fine. Um, I'd recommend if you don't have one, get one on eBay. Um, as we saw, you can get the uh, the Pentalobe for three, four bucks on eBay. You might be able to get a little package that has both the Pentalobe and the Torx for like five bucks uh, where you can get both tools if you're taking of course you're going to be taking the bottom case off to get to the battery alright so let's go ahead and um, undo the battery 
Now to replace the battery itself, if you want to purchase it on eBay, Amazon, wherever, the model number is going to be different, of course, than the actual model number of the MacBook Air. You'll be able to find the model number of the battery uh, right on the very bottom. And it's going to be like A is an apple and then four letters. And this one is an A1406. It'll say model. A1406. And whatever your MacBook is, it'll be different, you know. So let's go ahead and unscrew the um, Torx. This is a, you know, I got this at a precision, um, I got these precision tools from like a local, you know, AIM, um, Ace Hardware. Yeah, let me go start on that one. That one's a little bit tough. Here it goes. You could, if you're impatient, or if you got to get this done quick, you can go to a Lowe's or a Home Depot or Walmart. Maybe you might be able to find one. I will tell you, it'll definitely be more expensive that way. So that should do it. As you can see there, it just lifts right out. And this one, I have, batteries actually have serial numbers on them too. Huh. Alright, so let's go ahead and check real quick. I'll show you where you can buy one. So I'm on eBay's webpage. That's where I found it to be the cheapest. And when it comes to screwdrivers, you can go cheap. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay. So what we do is, I was looking on here earlier for a MacBook Air battery screwdriver. Um, so that's what that's what you want to do to get the screwdriver. You go to buy it now. And then you go to lowest first. And I'm sorry, lowest first is right here where you can look at lowest first. And as you can see here, there's one for a dollar forty nine and then shipping. That comes with the Penelope and the Torx. Now look where it's shipping from. That actually, this one's shipping from Washington. Uh, pretty good, cause um, I saw one from China that was like five bucks. If we zoom in there, it'll show the different sizes. The title says Apple MacBook Air Battery Security Screwdrivers, Pentalobe Two Tool Screwdriver. So this one actually has one that'll open up the case, and then one that'll actually open up the uh, battery. Um, you want to make sure you're getting it. If you're in the U.S., you want to make sure you're getting it in the U.S. Because if you get it from China, it's going to take a month or so to get it. And I know you don't want to wait that long. So in order to eliminate that, you go on your left side here and you type in U.S. only. Now, of course, if you're in Asia or Africa or Europe, of course, you know, you want to get it as close as possible. Or you might have to order it from China. Um and then again this is from Washington so you should be good on that and then when you get your new battery new battery in you could just um, you know go ahead and um, put it in now if you want to go get if you want to get a battery MacBook Air battery we saw that we read the uh, the model number earlier 
and I think that was A1405. So let's go ahead and type, if we're looking to buy a battery on eBay, we go A1405 battery. And buy it now, lowest first, it already has that force. Now we see here one for 10 bucks, pretty good, right? But it says as is. So you know it's something that you don't want to get if it says as is. It's probably dead or you know what have you or untested. Most likely you're going to pay at least 20 bucks for it. This says service, so that means it's not going to last as long. Um, here's one for 17. It's got 78 percent power, which is not bad. Um, and it is original, it's a genuine, so that's a good thing too. You can go get go with the um, the off-brand ones, but I'll tell you a lot of times those will, will puff up on you. So you might want to go with original or genuine. So that's how you find a battery and that's how you replace the battery. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section. Thanks for, thanks for watching.